My name is Namdi Okonkwo, and originally I'm from Nigeria, but I live in Fayetteville, Georgia. You know, I work with bronze. Some of these pieces are older pieces, but a, a, a good majority of them are newer. I've always liked, loved is a better word, the female form, you know, the human form. But I tend to gravitate more, gravitate more towards the female form because some of the emotions that I want to express in sculpture, emotions that are tied to life, I feel that the female form lends itself more to those emotions. I'm interested in the emotions such as joy, peace, serenity, and, and things like that. Things that are, they seem elusive, but they are beautiful, you know, when we are at one with them. I start with clay. I have an idea, and when that idea strikes me, I go to the studio. You know, but sometimes I just go to the studio. You know, if I waited till I get an idea, I might wait forever. You know, so usually when I'm playing around with clay, an idea happens to me, and I follow the promptings of whatever I feel. And as I go along, I make adjustments and just follow the way that the idea is leading me. And when it is done in clay, and sometimes it could take a period of say weeks to months. You know, some of some of my bigger pieces, I spend years working on them. And when they are done, I take the finished clay sculpture to a foundry and they make a mold and cast it in bronze. You know, and as you can see, some of the patinas are really unique. I like to say they are unique to me. I, like, I haven't seen anybody that does the patina, that is the color on the sculptures, quite the same way as I do them. And it took me a long time to evolve, for those patinas to evolve. And I like to do them myself. I bronze everything because the kind of clay that I use is the synthetic kind of clay that is uh, made up of wax, and some other oily materials, so you can really have them last. You know, when when it's hot, it melts, and when it's cold, it gets hard. Yeah, so you can really keep them for very long in in its, in in that form. So you either have to, you most artists that use it use it and cast it into a different material. Yeah, so mo most everything I do is in is cast in bronze if it is successful. I cast it in bronze. If it is not successful, I reuse the clay. I like what I'm doing. You know, this is, I feel like this is what I was born to do. You know, it's a calling. There is something much greater than money that inspires me to do what I do. It's a fact that we have to make a living because I have a family. So we put a price to the talent. But, you know, if we lived in a perfect world, I should be giving my sculptures to people based on how much they love it. You know, because if a person walks by here and, I can, and it's obvious to me that they love it, it's almost like a crime for me to take their money because I feel like I've received this talent free of charge. You know, yeah, so I love what I do and you know, I'm, I'm gonna always do it. You know, God willing, like my mother says, you know, I'm gonna always do this.